Hey folks, today I'm going to break down the material I made for this abstract cloth render. This was requested in a comment on one of my recent videos. If you have any other tutorial requests, drop them in the comments down below. Originally, I used a material from GSG Plus as my base and then altered it to get my end result. But for this tutorial, we'll be using some tileable textures I created in Midjourney and an alembic of the original cloth simulation so that everyone can follow along. You can download all of these for free from the link below. Create a Redshift standard surface shader and add it to the cloth animation. Make sure you've added a Redshift object tag to the cloth sim and under the Geometry tab, turn on Tessellation and Displacement. Now pick out one of the materials I provided. Each will give you different end results. For this material, we only need the roughness, normal, and height maps. Select the texture maps and drag them into the Redshift shader graph. First, create a constant node and name it Scale. Plug it into the scale parameter of our three texture maps. We'll use this node to control the tiling of all three textures. For now, increase the real value to 200. This will give us a detailed pattern across the cloth's texture. Take the normal texture and plug it into a bump map, and connect that to the bump input for the standard surface material. Plug the height map into a displacement node and then connect that to the displacement output. Drop down a ramp and plug it into the base color. Pick a few different colors for the ramp. Then drop down a curvature node. This node will allow you to create a map for areas of your geometry that are angled within a threshold that you determine. The more angled or rounded areas are represented by white values, and the flatter areas are represented by black. For more information about this node, reference the Redshift documentation. I'm not going to go over it in detail here. Plug the curvature node into a ramp node. This will allow you to clamp the mat more easily instead of going back and changing the curvature node. Then plug that ramp node into the refraction weight parameter of our standard surface shader. This will make the rounded areas of the geometry transparent, but will keep the flat areas opaque. Select the standard surface shader and under transmission, increase the dispersion parameter to two. Create a new ramp after the curvature node. This just gives us the flexibility to clamp this ramp differently than the one connected to our refraction weight. Now drop down a color layer node and plug the roughness map you're using into the base color. Then connect our new ramp to the layer one color in the color layer node. Connect this node to the material output so we can take a look at our roughness map. Select the color layer and under the layer one options, turn the blend mode to multiply. You'll see that the curves of our cloth are whiter than the flat areas. This means the reflection will be rougher on the curved sections of the geometry. We want the opposite of that. Drop down another ramp and connect the color layer into the ramp. Connect this to the surface output. Select the invert on the ramp, clamp down the black values so that the curved portions of the geometry are almost black. Then select the white color at the end of the ramp and adjust it to be about 35% gray. This will make it so that the curved areas of the geometry have almost no roughness. The flatter areas will be slightly rougher and more similar to a fabric texture. After you adjust the ramp, plug it into the standard surface shader's reflection roughness parameter. Let's hit render and see how this is looking. I got a slightly different end result compared to my original render, but I think this is looking pretty good. Don't forget to go back and try this setup using different variations. Here's what it looks like with no displacement. I almost like this version better, in my opinion. And here's the same frame using some of the different textures I provided. So that was a quick breakdown of that particular material. If you have any other tutorial requests, drop them down in the comments down below. If you liked the video, please hit like, maybe subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next tutorial.